it's Sarah and today I have something a little different again plants and this philodendron brantianum it's an urban jungle plant I wrote the word on there it comes like this I think it was 12 bucks ish comes it's a great deal it comes with this really kind of rustic looking terracotta pot but inside there is a nursery pot I'm gonna take it out I don't think I, I think I've had this for about a week and I thought I scored this was from Lowe's and um, it's a it's a more I haven't seen you don't see philodendrons well anyway you do anyway I'm a little suspicious and here's what I'm gonna do today I am going to unpot it because I want to see what's going on with the roots. My suspicion is that they are just propagating these plants and stuffing them into wet soil without being rooted yet. And because I'm telling you, this leaf has been unfurling all week and it hasn't done a thing. This one's actually turned yellow and I probably clipped off other things because what happens is if there are no roots you, you won't get any new growth because the, the plant will focus on forming its roots first and then before it will push any new growth. So I have, all of this will be stunted because they cut it off a different, this is my suspicion. We'll see. You ready? So I'm going to unpot this and we're going to see, okay, hold on. There are some roots. There are quite a few roots, but let's see. So basically, I was right. These are not well established. This has like one root. So in other words, what I do when I propagate a philodendron or a pothos is you, you cut from the plant, the mother plant. Then you take the cutting and you put the nodes under water. You can propagate in water with these plants or in wet, wet soil like I did with my Schifflera. I put that in that really wet um, sphagnum and perlite mix. Now this one hasn't sprouted any roots yet, but these have been in water for a good while. Okay, here we go. This one has one root coming from a node. One little baby root. Let's see. Um, I'm going to try and find you something that has a little bit. Okay. This one I've gotten two roots. And it's starting three three roots and this has been in water for at least a month um, and it takes a minute they are not, they don't sprout roots overnight but you just leave them you leave them in the water they're not gonna die uh, and it's <laughs> it takes them like at least a couple months before you get what the the rule of thumb is you want at least a two inch root on the bottom before you transplant them so I'm going to continue to do this and I'm just going to see what we get from urban urban jungle. There are definitely roots here, so that's a good sign. Honestly, I was thinking because I did pull out a couple of pieces that really looked just like this and didn't even have a root because my leaves were looking so sad. So this has a root. I don't want to break the roots obviously cuz they're tender but look at this this whole big piece really doesn't have a lot of roots so I'm just all right now my suspicion was because these are selling like hotcakes they're very um, people are collecting again they've really become popular and um, you know so they're just they want to sell as many as they can so they're just going to be taking their mother plants that they have at Urban Jungle and propagating from them. So that is basically what these are. These are propagations that they probably started in soil instead of in water. They just put them, I mean, look at this guy. He's tiny. Um, I mean, but it is enough of a root system that, I mean, look, this is kind of longer. But look, it's basically one, two roots on this whole 
cutting to support two leaves and so that's why and like it's not going to push new growth this new growth I'm guessing started on the mother plant before they propagated it but it, it has one root kind of coming down it's almost like an aerial root and then this this root so I'm going to transplant I'm going to tr pot it back in here but I really wanted to see you know I mean this is basically a propagation that I could have done myself um, you're getting a good amount of cuttings I will say that there are but look this is another cutting there's one root on it um, this one has a bunch oh no wait a minute it's just tangled in other roots look one root again well maybe maybe two 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 roots but they have a lot of um, other and this is like tangled in that but that's crazy isn't it like I mean and that that's actually a nice that was a nice hardy root but I'm telling you like where's that yellow in this one I'm just suspicious about this one because he, he they it really it hasn't looked perky either now uh, brantianum is a little bit or a brandy for sure it has a little bit more of a um, tender leaf the leaves aren't um, real thick or anything I really don't want to break it but this just had me so suspicious because now this can come from watering like I think I am just gonna I want to break it off I think but this is a clipping that isn't really really well established so look look at this and it broke I guess I broke it it'll still grow but this is like literally a clipping and there's a I don't know if that's new growth this is new growth I'm gonna put it back in there but it's two roots so I don't know I hope this gives you some insight and to think that you know you're buying this plant and these are very hardy you guys these are not uh, hard to grow plants at all philodendrons are um, one of the reasons I love them and that I've had them in the past but look, so this had one, two, three, and this is the, the bad one. But it does have a little root system going here. I don't know how much of this you can see, but I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little disappointed to see that because I was wondering why this guy isn't looking so good. But I'm going to plant them all back in the same pot. I'll put a nice, I'll probably use some of this soil. Maybe I'll change the soil because sometimes there can be little... Um, Look, I have that on my hand, $5.99 for, um, this is my propagation station. I just got this yesterday. I was going to use it to propagate. So maybe some of the pieces that are in here that don't have a strong root, I'll just put them in water. So see this one? Literally cuttings that rooted. I'm telling you, that's what we are buying when we buy this urban jungle right now they're not well established they're not mother plants I mean probably that's obvious I mean I don't know I am new to plants so this is all news to me I'm just discovering um, all of this stuff now these are tangled together but this this new leaf here has not unfurled all week because I just don't think the plant has it in them although it, it wasn't just cut from the mother plant but again, like so, these are propagations that I'm doing in water. And let's see, there's new growth on some of them, and it's just, it kind of is at a standstill because it needs to focus on the roots until it can, and then it can get um, to pushing new growth. So I just thought that would be interesting for you guys to see. Um, this is by no means dead or dying it is just what it is you know it's not like look this is tangled I'm just curious to see like here we go it's coming apart like that's it it just sprouted a root and that's what they say let it get to about two inches and then you can transplant it that's what they did and then they sold it so I still got my brantianum but it is looking it's not looking as strong or as 
you know, as a mother plant does, something a little more established. So I will put these back in soil. I was thinking I would just propagate them, put them in water, um, and just so that I can see the root growth. See, look, they're very easy to untangle, but these are literally cuttings. And then you see where the roots form right from that node. Um, and all this new growth is just stunted because it was cut from the mother plant and that's when this was about to unfurl and it's just kind of at a standstill until it grew roots. So now hopefully, I mean, this could die and maybe it won't, but then hopefully it will start to push new growth or even new roots. So I think I might want to keep this a little more wet and in the sun a little bit, well not sun, indirect sun a little bit more to give it the energy that it needs to form a few more roots here. Like this is actually a little rotten, this little part. But I mean they, this is literally, okay, I guess I've spoken, I've said my piece. But this, this is just propagations that they put in a planter and that's why I could tell. And I'm going to put them a little closer together. So when I transplant it, I'm going to put them a little closer together so that they can um, just be uh, more um, a denser um, plant. I want it to be a little bit more full looking. So I think I'm going to pot it up like that and hope for the best. Maybe I'll cut this one off. You just If I pull it, I might get, I'm going to cut it. All right, you guys. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.